Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. This is a video that I was not expecting to make. And uh, it's because today I was asked a request by two different students to um, do an interview with them about you know what the industry's like and whatnot. You guys know I absolutely love working with students. It's, it's probably one of my greatest honors and passions is to uh, work with people that are up and coming and to develop them. It's, it's magical. So um, I, I want to talk to you guys today about professional communications and what to expect going forward. So um, I've had some moments to, you know, um, just calm down and measure my words and I want to I want to make this as educational and as positive an experience of a video for all of you guys, including all of you students out there, um, because it's a very common project for you guys to reach out to people in the industry and to ask them questions and to take a little bit of their time and, you know, do your class project or whatever it is, maybe even uh, to discuss internships or whatever. There are hundreds and hundreds of professional communications. And, you know, the thing is, is I just want you guys all to remember that you're, you're taking somebody's time, okay? And, and our industry is awesome. The people in our industry would take the shirt off their back and give it to you if you needed it. That's the truth. There's so many supportive people in our industry that... I, I'm making this video right now as a warning to everybody out there and the people that come years down the line. When you talk to somebody in this industry, there are there's certain etiquette that you should remember and you should respect. The primary thing that you should always respect in every single professional communication is the time of your user or the viewer of the message. It's their time. So you want to keep the message as short as possible, for one, because you're respecting their time, right? You should never, ever use words like, I'm too busy. If you are asking a favor of somebody, you should never use those words that, sorry, I can't meet with you, I'm too busy, yada, yada, anything along those lines. Um, something more positive would, would behoove you, something like, uh, let me check my schedule and I will see what I can do Anything along those lines like let, let's set up a date in the future. Maybe not this week. Maybe next week, whatever it is You you should not use the words. I'm too busy because what you were saying is you're too busy For that other person's time and remember the number one rule of professional communications Is to respect the viewer of the messages time, okay? So just remember that. The other is the message, your message, okay? So uh, for a little bit of context, I'm not gonna say who it was or I'm not gonna go into huge details. I, I should read them almost verbatim minus, minus the names um, so you, that you guys could get the context of, of why I was a little worked up. You see, the first one was a girl who asked me if I would have time to meet so that we could talk and discuss uh, some questions she has about the industry. That's pretty close to verbatim of what she said. Um, to which I replied, yeah, sure, let's absolutely do it. Let's, let's set up a meeting. Now, she hasn't replied back yet. I respect that, okay? That's fine. Re replying back in a timely manner is very important, which if it was me, I would probably try to reply back within 24 hours, okay? Remember that. By the end of the next business day, you should reply back to those messages. Now, the fellow was very respectable. He was the second student that wrote me, and um, he included a, I don't know, a PDF or a Word document or something like that. I didn't even open it up, right? Because um, I'm with my family. I'm, I'm busy, right? Um, but, he, but he asked if I would have some time to answer some questions, and both both people said, you know, thank you for the videos that you produce and, you know, they help out a lot and they're very respectable. I love that. Um, but the thing is, is I, I like the organicness. Is that a word? <laughs> I like 
the organic opportunity of answering a question that is not rehearsed. If you guys can't tell, this video, none of this. I, I, I don't rehearse stuff anymore because if you don't get a visceral reaction out of me, when you ask me a question, you're going to get an organic answer and that is, is what I want. I don't want a rehearsed answer. None of this is rehearsed, guys. So I didn't even look at the questions. I asked him, sure, let's go ahead and set up a video meeting. And then his reply back was, I'm too busy this week. I was more hoping that you would just type in your replies and get me back the sheet by the 30th. Well, um, I, I wish I could read my response verbatim um, because I basically told them that um, that I don't believe that he has initiative. That was the last thing I said. And it's because what it sounds like to me, and, and I told him I could be wrong, is it sounds like you don't have initiative, that you want me to do your work for you. And um, I said, you made it seem like your time is more important than mine. And I wrote him back and I said, that's offensive. And then at the very bottom, because I like to close professional communications always on a good note, always. Because I'm still dedicated to helping any of these students out. We all make mistakes in professional communications. I'm not chopping anybody down, okay? Um, but in the end, I said, if you'd still like to meet, I will give you the, the best answers I can to answer your questions. So the thing is, I still would like to have a meeting. I'm not, I'm not upset. I'll, I, I roll a little bit because I've, I've had some really crazy um, requests and stuff. I mean, if you guys have only seen some of the emails I get, but the thing is, is it was just a mistake, right? And this person didn't understand the mistake that they made, or maybe they did. I don't know that, you know, right? Because I don't know the people, but you know, we, we always would assume that somebody just made a mistake, right? And in that, I would still like to help this person out, but I wanted to end it on a good note because that's how you should always end uh, professional communications, right? I just want to create this video to remind you guys that all you students going forward, you're going to be reaching out to people throughout this industry, some very important people. I, I, I myself talk to important people in our industry every single day. And if you are ever asking them uh, a favor, always be courteous and respectful of their time and your uh, response truncate it as short as possible okay be respectful of time if they want to elongate um the the scenario then that's on them right it's their time be courteous of their time and um just remember your communications the etiquette of communications now i have uh responded back to emails i've had meetings on the days that my kids have been born i've had meetings uh and i've written emails hell i just wrote a uh, reply back instantly to an email a Christmas night. I was in the middle of setting up Christmas presents for my kids and I got uh, an email from somebody that I respect, somebody that's very important to this industry. And he asked me a question and he would like to set up, you know, meetings or talks going forward. So I, I took the moment while I'm setting up Christmas gifts for my, my kids to reply back to them because again, timeliness and respect of their time is is extremely important so all i'm saying is it's something that you guys will learn going forward is that professional communications are not like anything you guys have ever done if you're asking anything of somebody be respectful okay and uh we the entire industry would love to help you guys out so don't be afraid to reach out just remember that you know we are all very busy people. You know, this is a very busy industry. And, uh, you know, try to keep everything as professional as possible, okay? All right, guys, all you students out there, good luck. And if you need anything, reach out to me, abetterbiomed at gmail.com. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Good luck, guys.